The Gateway Arch turns 55 later this month, and we are celebrating our city's most famous landmark all month long on Vintage KSDK by digging into our video vault. Today we go back 56 years when builders discovered a wrinkle in the plans. October 2nd, 1964. Construction of the arch has reached 300 feet when workers noticed something wasn't quite right. As I understand it, there are three bad sections now, two here, one atop the arch, one on the ground over there, and one at the factory. Uh, you don't expect any of the future sections to have this defect? No, uh, we think that problem has been fully resolved. The problem? Wrinkles on the stainless steel outer skin of the arch. These were supposed to be the first all-steel sections of the arch. The sections below the 300-foot level are reinforced by concrete. So engineers added more concrete to the legs, up to 324 feet on the north, up to 312 feet on the south. They also modified welding techniques. More than 50 years later, this doesn't seem like much of a problem at all. Well, all the legs are technically wrinkled. <laughs> And they, they, if you look at it in the right light, if the light is glancing off the side of the arch, you'll see that there's wrinkles in the stainless steel. And that's what they were talking about. Still, engineers weren't taking any chances with the arch's unique design. It was just a surprise when they actually put it together and probably the comment was made when the first wrinkled leg could be seen because they didn't expect that was gonna happen. In fact, some of the people involved in the project expected the arch to look different. They also thought it was going to be, you know, very shiny, very smooth, almost mirror-like. But the type of stainless steel they, they had to use was um, not shiny like that. Builders predicted the setback would cost them two weeks. Time to play that little game of uh, how much of a delay is involved here and just when uh, the thing is going to be complete. Instead, it took two months. The project finally got back on track in December, pushing the late May completion date back. I would hope that uh, uh, it would be somewhere around, say, mid-June or the third week of June, if nothing further develops and if everything goes well. They didn't quite make that mid-June target date. There were more delays to come, and it would be late October 1965 before the final piece was put into place. Our month-long look back at the arch continues next week. The monument was built at the height of the civil rights movement. We'll look at the day two activists scaled one of the legs of the arch, demanding minority inclusion. 